Hello, this is Yuka from the JavaArt.org. This is part 7 of my tutorial showing you how I've set up a Java development environment. I'm going to show you now how we can install Maven onto our Ubuntu Linux guest which is running inside VirtualBox. And one of the benefits that we have with VirtualBox is we have numerous options available to install Maven with. And the first option in Ubuntu is very obvious. You can type in the Maven command, you'll get an error. Uh, if you don't have Maven installed and Ubuntu says that you can get Maven 2 from the aptitude repositories. Our Maven 2 is outdated so I'm going to go to my website I've written a script here um, at the jarbar.org and if you go to my website I'm just going to run through the script with you uh, just go to the tutorial section under Linux under install maven and just to run through the script with you it downloads maven it unpacks it to your user maven uh, so user library maven directory and if that directory doesn't exist it will create it then the script uh, over here it tests for um, whether this um, system is a, a system running on virtualbox with guest editions installed based on whether the test succeeds or not it will attempt to mount your .m2 directory which you may or may not have set up for um, file sharing between your guest and host in addition to your maven directory and if these uh, mounts succeed then additional script files are created and copied to your user local bin directory which allow you to mount and unmount maven on the fly the script also prompts you for a script file which you can create which you can write script commands to which are executed as your system starts up and it does this as an auto mount feature and if you don't like this feature you can just use the unmount um, script which is created in your user local bin to unmount the maven uh, which is sorry the maven directories which are shared from your host to your guest to show you all this, I'm going to download the script. Simply click on the anywhere on the purple section and save the file. And it's uh, in your downloads directory. And then just go close your browser. And if you've got a terminal open here, which you should, because we tested that Maven isn't installed, then you can use the bash command. Uh, bash and then target your home directory and the downloads directory and install maven.sh now the script is going to reboot the system and I'll explain to you why um, later in the tutorial it asks you for your password and over here is where you prompted for that startup script file which I uh, mentioned earlier in Ubuntu you can use the default but if you're using OpenSUSE, you'll have to use a path similar to the one I'm typing in at the moment. It's forward slash etc, forward slash rc.d, forward slash boot.local. This is the entry for OpenSUSE. On most other Linuxes, I assume that you can use the default that I've provided here. So, because this is Ubuntu, I'm just going to hit enter. And then I'm going to hit enter again because I know that Maven 3 update 4 is the current version of Maven and I'm this is going to download and then it's going to reboot um, my system now note that the first time that we ran the script if I go to my shared folders under VirtualBox you'll see that um, I didn't have any Maven entities sh set up for sharing from my host to my guest I'm going to run the script again and uh, first I'm going to wait for my system to start just to verify that Maven is installed so if I run the Maven version command now
you'll see I have Maven version 3 installed and I'm going to list where Maven is installed to that's in your user lab Maven directory and you'll see that I have Apache Maven version 3 update 4 installed there. I'm also going to list the contents of uh, user local bin and the first time I ran this uh, nothing was created in this directory note that there's nothing uh, in that directory now if I set up shared folders in VirtualBox and if I set up my Maven directory in Windows and uh, firstly I'm going to set up my .m2 which contains my local repository uh, if I set that up for sharing uh, and make it permanent so I don't have to repeat this process every time I leave it unchecked for read only so that I can write to this directory as well and if I add my maven directory from Windows which currently doesn't contain any um, installation as I'll show you in a minute again I'm going to make it permanent and I'm going to leave it unchecked for read only now if I go to my maven directory in Windows you see here that it's empty and if I open my command prompt and I type in maven version um, yeah, I don't have maven installed I do have the path configured though for maven which is targeted in this directory so I'm going to set up this empty maven directory and I'm going to rerun the script in Ubuntu and it's going to act significantly different the second time around and this is because I've set up these shared folders and the script will detect this and I'm going to show you what it does so now that we've uh, got the script we're just going to run it again and again the password and just run it with the defaults again so once again just so that you're with me um, the difference is that this time around I set up two directories to be shared from my Windows host to my guest and it's this action that's going to make the script act in a different manner to the first time when we ran it now we do know that the script the first time we ran it installed Maven and now if I go and I um, if I open the terminal now and I type Maven version you'll see that we don't have Maven apparently again we get the suggestion for Maven 2 if I go and list the contents of um, it's a user lib maven um, sorry. you'll see apparently we don't have a maven installation now we do I'm going to use the sudo um, going to echo sorry sudo nano and that startup script file that we provided I'm just going to show you what was added to that script file. And if we go to the bottom of the script file here, you'll see that we have a mount command which was written to the script file. And basically, we've mounted Maven from our Windows host to our guest operating system. And the Maven installation in Windows is empty this is why maven appears to be empty and if I list the contents of user um, just bear with me here sorry so if I list the contents of user local bin you'll see that I have a couple of script files which were copied here now I can use the maven unmount to unmount um, Maven which was shared or which was mounted to my guest if I run that 
and if I list the contents again of my Maven installation you'll see that a Maven is indeed installed here and I can run the Maven version again to verify this. The reason why we weren't able to see Maven is because of the the mount which we did. Now, should we wish to get Maven installed on uh, the Windows system, we can just mount Maven again, in which case the directory from Windows is going to shadow the local or the Ubuntu user library Maven location. So I'm going to Maven, I'm going to use the Maven mount script which I copied to the user local bin and you see that it's mounted and to verify that if I go and list there again you see that I don't have Maven this indicates that it's the Windows directory um, which is shadowing uh, the local Maven directory if I run the script again the bash script and I just run it with the defaults again Maven will now be installed on my Windows system and to verify that I'm going to create or open a new command prompt and type in maven version and you see that a maven is now also installed in Windows so I've used the same script to install maven on Windows and Ubuntu but additionally I've showed you that you have many options available to you thanks to VirtualBox and thanks to the power of having two systems running at the same time. Now bear in mind that the next time we start Ubuntu that the Maven that will be running if I just uh, show you quickly um, if I open a terminal here and I run the maven version command it's running the command in the windows maven and not the one in Ubuntu right? And this shows you how to install maven on um, Ubuntu Linux which is running as a guest inside VirtualBox uh, this is part 7 of my tutorial showing you my development environment thank you for watching